Hey everybody, I'm Heather Hoyt with NLC Worship and this is NLC Live Devo. Cue the music. So I'm really excited about our scripture that we have today. It's found in Psalm 145. Uh, but as I was looking through Psalm 145 and 146, what was really cool to me, um, you know, a lot of times in worship or in prayer, we'll have, um, it'll kind of either be in two different veins. Like you either have praise or you have kind of petition, right? And um, these two chapters are pure praise. David is throwing down a praise break, everybody. Let's take a look at it. In Psalm 145, verses 1 through 3, it says, I lift you high in praise, my God, O oh my King, and I'll bless you every day and keep it up from now into eternity. God is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. And he goes on and on and on, calling out the greatness of God. Two chapters full of it, y'all. I encourage you to go look at it. But you know what I love about this? Have you ever just needed to stop and have a praise break? I'm outside right now in the dead of summer in Arkansas, y'all. It is 82 degrees, and if there has ever been a time for a praise break, it is now. Receive my hallelujah, Jesus. It feels so good out here, everybody, yes. You know, our tendency really is to give God praise when things are going well, right? A lot of times it's harder for us to give God praise when things aren't going so well. Um, but here's what I want to tell you. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I like to think that if joy is going to hit, it's because I have chosen to stop and have myself a praise break everybody. And so if you are in a season where it feels a little bit dry, have a praise break. If you are feeling defeated, have a praise break. If you are feeling discouraged and overwhelmed, have a praise break and by all means, if you've had a major victory in your life, honey, throw down and have a praise break. So is there life application in this verse? There absolutely is. In the first verse, David says, I lift you high in praise. My God, oh my King, I lift you high. That infers that there are plenty of other times in our lives where we are lifting other things up high, right? But if we want to come into line, as David is, with the plans and purposes in the heart of God, he's getting the order right. He's lifting up the Lord, right? He is calling out the authority of God. He's recognizing the power of God, the strength of God, the beauty of God. He's calling out that he will never be praised enough. He goes on, he says, God is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. These verses tell us that from now through eternity, this is what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and apply it and get really good at it. And what this tells us about God is that he is far better than our very best thought of him. Think about that. What's the very best thing that you can think about God? The very best thing you could say about him. He's far better than that. So let's go ahead and practice that praise break. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you that every season is the perfect season to have a praise break. I thank you, God, because you are magnificent. Your name is higher than any other name. And if that's the case, God, then I can praise you in every season, in the good, the bad, the ugly, the otherwise. You deserve my praise. So God, we're just gonna give it to you today. We're gonna give you our praise. We're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna stop and acknowledge how wonderful you are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, everybody. Show him some praise.